Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing some of the trades that took place across the past week. We're on a hot bit of form at the minute. We're actually at around seven winners in a row, I believe. And hence why I kind of wanted to showcase the past week of trading with you on YouTube. A few of our members have actually managed to pass phase one of their funded challenge and also complete their full funded challenge. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into the charts right now and kind of showcase you what's been going on across this past week. And quickly, just before we get into the video, if you are new around here or a current member and you're watching this video, you may have missed some of the trades or you might not exactly know what's going on, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And if you are new around here, please feel free to click the subscribe button as it does go a long way for us. This trading session occurred across the GBP USD market and GBP JPY all during the London session. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Here we are on GBP USD. Now I've actually left my position trade markouts, whatever you like to call them, on the chart just so it's a bit clearer for you um, to see kind of what was going on. But our little winning streak did actually start on Thursday the 22nd of August. I did actually make a little short highlight in this, but we simply wait for a breakout on the five minute chart after the London sessions opened and then we place an appropriate stop loss beneath the recent low and we set an appropriate take profit in and we did manage to secure a trade here on the Thursday and the exact same happened on the Friday. Not too much to talk about, simply waiting for a breakout here on the five minute chart with an appropriate stop loss beneath the recent low. And I think there was actually some news release that did end up taking this trade towards take profit. Then we obviously had the weekend here, no trades being taken across the weekend. Um, and we came back on the Monday. This is actually just to show you guys the trade that I marked out. So we're just doing the exact same principle here. Um, I didn't take this trade on the Monday um, for GBP USD or GBP JPY simply because it was a bank holiday over here in the UK and I do not trade this particular strategy on a bank holiday. Um, but nevertheless, you know, we came back Tuesday morning again waiting for this nice breakout with an appropriate stop loss and we do manage to get the third trade in a row there. I think that brings us to a total of 4.5 R um in four trading days if you like to class it as three then you could class it as three um here you know i did draw this trade out i think a few members did end up getting on this trade and did end up getting stopped out quite unfortunate really because as you can see you know it did just stop hunt a little bit and then carried on running down towards take profit but the indicator we used to kind of justify whether we can take a trade or not was saying to me that we couldn't we couldn't necessarily fit in this trade uh, and for that reason I didn't end up taking this trade and it was a no trade day for me so again still on the three winning streak um, obviously if you did get on this one it was a bit unlucky um, but like I said just because of the indicator we use I didn't end up getting onto this trade now this one's a funny one as well because a few people got onto this trade and, you know, everything was lining up to get into this trade. And in all fairness, I probably should have got in it. Um, it's probably a little bit bad of me that I didn't. But what I noticed on GU was that, you know, just some additional work I was looking at was that on the daily chart, you know, we've been extremely bullish. And I'm pretty sure since around July last year it was. Um, yeah, so we've not really been at these highs for a very long time. And the session before that, which I was saying was a no trade day, did did kind of form this bearish candle. And as I was expecting some retracement to come in, I wasn't too confident on the buys myself. Okay, so I had some problems with my little editing program here. I couldn't get rid of the drawing tool. But as I was saying, you know, on the day on the daily chart, it's been quite biased of, of buys. And after this little retracement that occurred after, you know, this this little run then I just decided that buys wasn't too favorable and this is something that you don't necessarily have to do to make profit when you're looking at this strategy but for me one thing I have been focusing on the past few months is just managing on reducing my losses that I take obviously this strategy does perform very well if you just follow it with the mechanical rules in place and you just follow it a long time you will become profitable 
However, for me, it's just about reducing losses where I can. And like I said, there was this slight pullback here, which probably occurred on the daily here. So for me, getting in buys the following day wasn't too favourable. Um, I thought there would be a little bit of extra retracement. And then I decided to leave this trade out, which was a smart decision from me. Um, but again, this isn't a necessary step you have to take. It's just something I've been working on myself on how to reduce my overall losses. Um, nevertheless, on Friday, we did end up taking one final trade of the week. And, you know, simply again, we have a breakout here with an appropriate stop loss. And our trade just managed to hit take profit for 1.5R. So how much does that bring us to? That's um, 1.5R there. That is 3R. 4.5R. And that would make it 6R, I believe. If I'm doing the maths correctly. Um, and here you can see there's a trade that I actually placed today. So by the time I upload this video... Um, you can go ahead and watch this and just see if this trade played out and hit my take profit or not. But this is the trade we've gone for today. If I quickly just move over to GBP, JPY, so you can see the past trades that I took on there because we have had some success over there recently. Over the past month or so, there'd been a numerous amount of no trade days, to be fair. Um, but from what I can see or from what I can remember, I think I won about four trades in a row across the past week. But from what I can remember, I think I won about four trades in a row on GBP, JPY. From the trades I could take, I mean, some of these days must have been a no trade day or like I said, I wasn't too favorable on them. But again, the exact same principle applies here whereby we're waiting for this breakout, appropriate stop loss, and we do manage to take this trade here. So you can trade this, this particular strategy on GBP, JPY, JBP, USD. You could obviously do it on some american session markets but for me i live in the uk i'm up early i like to trade the london session again here on the friday um we got another winning trade for 1.7 r i believe that was that might have been just because my entry was slightly better um but i do tend to aim for a 1.5 r profit target as that is just something that's been quite successful for me i managed to always kind of get in and get out. I don't usually fall short. I mean, going for 2R with this strategy would be appropriate in some places, but for me, I just think 1.5R does work particularly well for these kind of breakout strategies. And again, on the Tuesday, we had a winner and, and last Friday, we had a winner. So overall, it was around 6R um, since I've had a losing trade on GU and Again, 6R on GBP, JPY since I've had a losing trade. Um, today was a, a trade to go into buys. Um, I just missed this trade because I was slightly busy this morning and I missed the entry for it. However, I will see how this plays out and see if the winning streak continues. But overall, that's just a quick summary of you know how I'm placing these trades on the London session. Um, what my kind of take profit is and kind of just how I um, place my stop loss beneath a recent low and, and let the trade play out really. So I just thought it'd be quite interesting to showcase that with you this this week. Um, obviously, it has been quite a successful week trading and it's always good to kind of showcase this to the members and the rest of the community. Um, but if there's any questions you have on the strategy or, you know, any other questions regarding trading that you might be interested in or might want to know, then just please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And like I said, I'll be more than happy to answer them, whether you're a member or just part of the channel and the community. Um, but yeah, overall, that's been the past week or so of trades and we've we're on fire. A few of the members managed to pass phase one of their challenge. I'll put a quick picture here. And some of our members actually did pass their full funded challenge. So, you know, this isn't just me, you know, making this video, going back and putting everything on the chart to make it look like we're making money. No, our members are in the chat. They are active every day. And, you know, like I said, members have been passing the challenges since we started the pro community to this date. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm extremely happy for the members that have been finding some success recently. Congratulations to you all. Um, hopefully we can continue this nice bit of form that we're running in a minute. But that will be it for this week, guys. Um, there will probably be another video or short posted later on in the week. But thank you all for tuning in. Um, I know it's been a little bit of time since I posted on the channel. But I appreciate you all. And I look forward to catching up with you all again soon. 
So take care, everyone. If you're new around here, feel free to hit the subscribe button and obviously drop a like if you enjoyed the video. But until next time, um, take care and I'll catch you all soon. Thank you.